What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode 19 of Freedom Convoy Stu Mac Trucker Hat. Last episode, we fretted, well, I did, fretted the, uh, the neck. And I said that I was ready to glue this in. But that was a lie. I forgot the side dots again. I don't want the old GGBO incident happening again. So before I motor onto the body, getting that ready so I could glue this in, I'm going to pop these uh, side dots in. Cool. So. I should just be able to eyeball center this way. Sweet. Alrighty, we have holes. So, I'm going to be using this like off white cream side dot marker. It's like the, I forget what size it is. It's, it's really small. Uh, it's for like acoustics, but I think it looks better. So, uh, I'm just going to super glue these in and we can go on to the body.
I'm moving it from the accelerator. Thank you, Bill. Alright, so some glue squeezed out. I'm going to sand these flush, but first I'm just going to... Take that squeeze out off with this, because it's way easier. Very cool. Sweet, let's take some 320 here and let's flush these up. What do you think of those? I love how well it matches the uh, aspen and the maple. I think it really just ties the entire theme of the neck together. I was going to go black, but I had a change of heart and I'm pretty happy with that decision. Very cool, now we can go on to the body. Yes! Oh, she's getting a wee bit chilly in the shop. Alright, anyway, so, next ready to be glued. It is this time. Um, so I'm going to go on getting the body all prepped, doing all the final sanding and whatnot, uh, so that I don't have to do it when the neck's attached. It just makes my life easier. But i got to get these... Uh, the knobs recessed in, do the PRS style carve so that the knobs sit perfectly 90 degrees. If I just drilled them in or put them on the carve, it would look ridiculous. So they all got to be recessed and same with the toggle. So yeah, we'll set up the drill press here and we'll get those done. I got this washer. I'm just going to center it over the uh, holes and trace it out so I can get a perfect circle recess and then I'm going to use the drill press and that uh, carving bit that I used to recess these.
Beautiful. Can you guys see those? I don't know if you can see them. All right. So I got them all marked out. So now I gotta get the drill press set up here, and uh, we'll go to town recessing these. So now that I got my depth, we'll bring you up. Into it. It's kind of sketchy actually. Hopefully I'm not too tight. Fire up. There we go, we have one recess. I actually had tons of control over that and that was fairly easy to do. So I just got uh, four more to go. And then they'll need some tedious hand sanding. Cool, the first two are looking really good. Alright, so I don't want to go as deep as I did on these, on this one and this one. I don't think. I think it will be like a tier up, so they will be a little higher. Uh, if I go as deep, like where I have marked on the drill press, I think this one will only end up be protruding the guitar about like three-eighths of an inch, and that's too low. So uh, they'll be stepped up. I'll start with this one because it's in a carve. This is basically on a flat section, so I'll get the depth, the required depth for this one, and I will match that one, I think. Let's do this. I'm thinking that's pretty good, so we'll mark 
the drill press for later so I can match the other one. This thing's a pain in the ass. Very good. with that. Let's switch back. Oh, God damn it. All right. Switch back. Do this one. And then we'll have a look see. So I got three out of four done. I still have this last one. I just saved it so I could show you exactly how I'm doing this. This is actually a really tedious, pretty difficult task. I did not think it'd be taking me this long. But uh, I'll show you exactly how I do it. So I break the hard edge with the card scraper first Alright, so once that's fairly broken over, I come in with the sandpaper. Once I get that sanded pretty good, then I take this gouge again, 
I start from the inside and I just use it kind of as a scraper and I just rock it off the heel of itself and it's really good at smoothing up the inside and then I can hit it with a very light sand on the inside and call it done Alright, that's nearly there. They're actually all nearly there. They still need a little bit of work and tooling, but I'll give you guys a little preview of what it's going to look like, and then I can move on, because I don't want to do that anymore. Don't that look fairly sick? I love it. Alright, I'm going to move on from this step. I'll do the final sanding later. Because they are really close. Alright, so I got one of these done already. The top's still too thick, I can't get any threads coming through, so I'm going to have to deepen these from the inside of the guitar so I can get my pots through and the nut on them. So I actually have to go about a quarter inch, and this is pretty terrifying, I do not want to drill through me carve. Alright, let's just give her a double check here. Mint, threads. All 
I got threads. Threads. And threads. Beautiful. So sick. Alrighty guys, I'm going to sum up this episode a little earlier than I normally do. I wanted to get a quarter inch round over on the bottom of the guitar, but I don't have a quarter inch round over bit. I've been working 12 hour days at work now, so I've had really no time to go out and get one and actually work on the guitar throughout the week. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to sum this one up here. I also wanted to get my battery pack routed in the ass end here, but my buddy Rob Knox has me uh, second guessing myself, and I think he actually may be right, because I'm doing string through ferrules, and then I also going to have a strap button screw coming in, so I don't know if I'm going to have room here. It might have to actually go here, but we'll see, and if you guys haven't uh, checked out Rob Knox's channel yet, go check him out, he's, uh, he's a cool dude, and his guitar that he's building is looking really sweet. So, uh, yeah, thanks a lot for watching, you guys. Click like, comment, and subscribe. I'd also like to dedicate this episode to all the truckers down there in Ottawa. Kicking ass. Showing the world how much of a true coward Trudeau actually is. Fuck that guy. This one's for the truckers. Have a good one.